Hey everyone, this is David Brown with the migration update for March 8th, 2025 from the Derby Hill Hawkwatch. It was another cold and windy morning. I went over to scan the lake, but really the wind was blowing so hard and the waves were pretty big, so there were a few ducks out there to look at, but not something you'd want to spend any real time doing. Here's an American herring gull that gave me a nice look at its top side and notice those pale inner primaries. That's a good field mark for American herring gulls. Over the roar of the wind and the lake, I heard a croak overhead and I looked up to see this common raven checking out what I was doing. The strong winds blew the porta potty 45 degrees off axis, but at least it didn't blow it over. I had 15 species from the North Lookout in the morning. Since the winds had a northerly component, I conducted the count from the South Lookout today. You can see it was a beautiful sunny morning and then throughout the day it clouded over becoming mostly cloudy by the mid-afternoon and the winds were very strong mostly out of the west northwest shifting more westerly in the afternoon and it was cold with temperatures hovering just below freezing most of the day but don't feel too bad for me i spent most of the day sitting in my car Today was mostly a slow trickle of turkey vultures, and you can see they're lit up nicely from below with that sun reflecting off of the remaining snow cover, and this one gave us the closest look of the day. And here was the largest group of the day with a whopping five, and the largest group that we've had so far this season, but in a few weeks we might be looking back and laughing at that being considered a large number at this point, but it's nice to... We're finally seeing some small groups of turkey vultures starting to move, and those numbers will just continue to pick up through the end of the month and into early April when we can get thousands of them on a good day. I saw two adult red-tailed hawks flying together, but they did not migrate. Here's a turkey vulture coming head-on, showing that classic V-shape to the wings, or dihedral. And today they were really rocking a lot as they got blown around by the wind. And towards the end of the day, I spotted this small hawk with a long tail. And as it got closer, I could see that it was the first sharp-shinned hawk of the season. So a really small occipiter with a very squared off tail and a small head. And you can even see the orange barring underneath indicating that it's an adult sharp-shinned hawk. Yesterday, I saw this woolly bear all curled up with snow on it, and it was blowing across the snow and ice, so I figured it was dead. But then today, as it warmed up and the sun was hitting it, it came back to life and started crawling away. So pretty amazing how some of these creatures can survive the cold. And here's an example of how much it had clouded over by the end of the count. I had 19 species from the South Lookout. Taking a look at the hawk count report for our daily raptor totals, today we had 29 turkey vultures and one sharp-shinned hawk for a total of 30 migrating raptors. That brings the season total to 133. Taking a look at the forecast, for tomorrow it's looking cloudy in the morning with light southwesterly winds, around 8 miles per hour, and a chance of some snow showers and then by late morning, those winds will be strengthening and shifting around more west or even west-northwest. And so I think if there's any chance of something happening, it would probably be in the morning. We'll just have to see how extensive those snow showers end up being. So I wouldn't bet that it's going to be a terrific day, but we may have some action there in the morning. But once those winds pick up, it'll be similar to the past couple days where the winds are just too strong to really have much of a flight. But hey, maybe we'll be surprised. For Monday, it's looking sunny with just a few clouds and a high in the mid-40s and light westerly winds, so it seems like a pleasant day to be out. Not necessarily a terrific wind, there's no southerly component to it, but westerly winds can be okay and they're looking very light, so I'd bet we'll get some action, but it won't be a huge day. But looking ahead to Tuesday, a mix of sun and clouds and a high in the upper 50s and winds south-southwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. So by far the best conditions yet this season and would expect a decent flight on Tuesday. All right, well, it's a pretty slow day overall for hawks and for birds in general. But in the morning, I was listening to an audiobook of the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald, and then our resident maritime expert, Dawn, showed up. So we had a lot of good conversation, and the day went by pretty quickly. I also want to mention that the clocks changed tonight. And as far as the hawk watch goes, obviously the birds don't change their clocks. So the only 
real difference is that instead of starting at eight o'clock in the morning, now the clock will say nine o'clock for this usual start time, but I've been going out earlier than that anyway. And also when you're looking at the hot count report, that always stays in standard time. So if I start the count at nine o'clock clock time, it will show up as eight o'clock on hot count. So just be aware of that, that there may be a one hour difference when you're looking at the hot count report. Again, hot count always uses standard time. We got some nice days coming up, especially Tuesday, and then later in the week, a few more days of southerly winds. So we could really get some action going here at the Derby Hill Hawk Watch coming up this week. So hope to see you soon, or if you can follow along virtually. From Lyco Birds, this is David Brown. Thanks for watching.